Hello everybody, Code Gamer here, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we made our way back up to Hollow Bastion and successfully found our way to where all the princesses are, handing out, holding back darkness. Today's episode, we're going to keep going forward. Oh, okay, we got another fight ahead of us. There's going to be another wave, I'm sure. Wave 2? No way too. Okay. Honestly, a little surprising. But let's go into the grand hall. Where is more enemies? Oh my goodness! All right. Kill the fat man. I don't know why I locked on, I was just hopeful that it would help. Of course all of the princesses have left the uh... There he is. Oh my goodness. And there we go. Now there's a second wave of course. Full of large bodies, I think they're called. Ah, yeah, come on. I was actually concerned about my health there for a minute. There we go. I actually blocked it in time for once. Okay, third wave, I guess. Oh, there we go. I've been waiting how long until this guy showed up. He is a strange invisible being that uh, does quite a lot of damage. I'm gonna try and focus on. Well, I was gonna try and focus on him, but these guys seem quite in the way. Might make more sense to just deal with this guy, but. There we go. Oh, he's disappeared. Legitimately disappeared. The command menu's gone blue. Alright. That's one wizard taken care of. Now one more. And there we go. Alright, we got some treasure around here, apparently. Got some dark matter. Ooh, there's a chest up there. We'll see if we end up in any cutscenes first. Maybe not a cutscene, but there's an atlas. Probably not the only one here, is it? Oh, okay. I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's see, a chest here. Ooh, more puppies. Hell yeah. I'm curious how many we have. Obviously over half, but it's if we to get that to one page. Alright, up here is... One last chest. We obtained Oblivion. Another very cool Keyblade. Uh, it reduces our MP by one, but it has even more power than the Oath Keeper. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Oath Keeper just for the sake of... Uh, having sort of that balance. Because I do think it is helpful having... I do think it is helpful to have uh, a bit more MP for healing and arrow and all that. Especially when you get into situations where uh, you don't have Donald with you. Okay, we've got more Heartless to deal with once again. Alright, a second wave of Heartless for us to deal with. That's okay. Damn. Mistimed the, the uh, block there. There we 
go, we've hit level 50. Oh god, okay, invisible paint's back. Where is he? There he is. I'm going for him. Going for him this time. Oh, there we go. We did it. Nice. Oh, okay. There's a guy here that we never fought, apparently. So we'll just uh, take care of that real quick. And I'll you. Oh, man. I'm happy we dealt with that one. <laughs> I've wanted to take care of one of those invisible guys for a while. It looks like there's another one around at the moment. Take care of this uh, little wizard first. Nope, that's it. Okay, why is the camera turning to its, to its right? Alright, into the dark depths we go. Here we have another boss fight against this huge Goliath. Uh, as terrifyingly big as he looks, it's actually quite easy. Uh, as long as you can avoid certain attacks, you really don't have anything to worry about. Uh, the best way to deal with him really is to just stay up on his back as much as you can and just Go to town on his horn. This is legitimately all you really need to do for this fight. As you can see, we've already gotten one health bar down. Keep an arrow up is a good idea when he occasionally has attacks that prepared. But honestly, as long as you avoid his big steps, you've got nothing to worry about. Also, be prepared to fight this thing a couple more times, because for whatever reason, they decided right at the end to just repeat this fight a lot. They thought it was good. I guess. I guess someone that on the team really liked it. Come on. Yeah, didn't quite do that in time. Ah, well. Guy is really not too much to be concerned about. As you can see, we've already got him down to his last health bar. Yeah. Thankfully, arrows keeping us good and healthy. At this point, no concern, as he is done. Nice, right, Donald Goofy getting level level. Retained Omega Arts. Now let's go and seal that big keyhole. Sora, you did it. What are you guys doing here? We came and said ship. This is our childhood home. We wanted to see it again. It's in worse shape than I feared. It used to be so peaceful. Don't worry, if we defeat Ansem, it all should be restored, including your island. Really? But it also means goodbye. Once the worlds are restored, they'll all be separate again. Everyone will go back to where they came from. Then I'll visit you guys with the gummy ship. It's not that simple. Protus, you didn't know about other worlds, right? Every world was isolated. Impossible world walls divided them. That was destroyed those walls. But if the worlds return, so will the walls. Which means gummy ships will be useless. This thing will never We 
may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Besides, I couldn't forget you, even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? Hurry, come and close the keyhole! Sora, good luck. Thank you, sir. I think the darkness has begun to weaken. But I can feel powerful darkness growing somewhere far away. It's the heart of the darkness. It must be where Ansem went. But we'll take the gummy shape and deal with both Ansem and the Heartless. We'll have the answer, Keyblade Master. We offer this power to aid your battle. And the power of fire. Fire has been upgraded to Fireaga! Sir, your courage can bring back our worlds. Once the darkness is gone, all should return to its original state. Are you be back on the island? Most certainly, you should be too. I'll go home until I find Riku and the king. Alright, so let's go aboard the gummy ship. There's somebody now to go see him. Position's a lot tougher now, so be careful. Uh, we will do the tournaments, I think, as folks game. Just because otherwise we could end up being a bit too high of a level. Like, to a point where we won't be, uh... To a point where the final boss won't even remotely be a challenge. And I would hate for that to happen. I'm not expecting to have much difficulty with it, but I would like there to be some, you know? So at any rate, uh, you're probably wondering why I'm back here. And there's something I want to get that I think we can now get at the library. So, I'll meet you guys uh, back in the library once I get there. So, one moment. Okay, welcome back to the library. Now then, there is a reason I wanted to come back here, because... Yes, I believe Aerith is here now. And we tried talking to her. Sorry, you should read this. Read what? It's the rest of Ansem's report. Maleficent must have collected it. Update Ansem's report 2, 4, 6, and 10. And now we talk to her again. Ansem disappeared when his world fell into the darkness. It was believed he died defending people from the house, but Ansem was the one who brought them here. Wait, but there's a little light to protect you somewhere. Cura has been upgraded to Cura Gar! Thank goodness. So I wanted that so bad. Also, real quick, uh, Sora gained a level while I was on my way here. So, Hurricane Blast from an aero combo only should play about finishing combo attack to the enemy. That sounds useful. Um, what can I lose that will help out with that? Um, I don't go out often, but I like having it for when I can, when I need it. Uh, I might remove Critical Plus for that, just because that does sound good. Alright, now if we head up to the save point up here... I actually forgot about that scene. Yeah, we managed to reunite Beast and Bell. That's sweet. Oh, also Yuffie's here, I guess. Ah, uh, Yuffie. 
No, it's not. We'll work as a fight dogs. Yeah? I just don't get it. What's so great about the darkness? So, does that mean that we have every uh, Anthem report now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. I'm missing number 8. Oh, wait. Bell's here. Okay. This is for you. Use it to face the darkness as the beast has. We obtained Divine Rose. Divine Rose. Let's have a look at that. I should have forgot that that was even here. That one that did with the flat kill would deal with a string of critical blows. So it's actually stronger than the Oblivion and only... Re and uh, rather than reducing the magic, it just doesn't give us one like the Oathkeeper is. I think I'm going to equip that, honestly. And uh, I don't have anything... What's in the rounds? MP strength... Uh, HP strength from defense. That's pretty nice, but I don't want to lose the extra AP as well. Uh, Goofy, I think, could probably use it. Yeah. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Now then, the save point here. You can use. And, uh, give me one moment. I just want to double check that we haven't missed the last answer report, but it's like if it's still coming up, or if it's like a bonus thing, I'm planning to leave to a post game anyway. So, one moment. Okay, sure enough, uh, we haven't gotten to... Uh, in order to get the last answer report, we need to complete a tournament at Olympus Coliseum, which obviously I'm leaving to be the last thing. One of the things we do as post game. So, for a moment, uh, the answer reports will go unchecked until post game. Hopefully that's alright with everyone. Now then, we're gonna just do the drive for this during this episode, see the intro to this next world. And then the next episode we'll get to properly exploring it. We are approaching the end game though, which is exciting. Oh no, it's a red stick that does, uh, that uses up the power. Okay. Fascinating. Also, the lasers. Oh, dude. Okay. Did not realize that. I was actually concentrating for a minute there. Okay. I feel like I might have given the gummy shit parts of a bad time. A bad rep, actually. Huh, maybe I underestimated them. <laughs> and here we have the end of the world. Let's disembark. Oh, nice. Nice little trophy. Here we have a save point as well. Ah, dang. Fun fact, there is a trophy for if you manage to beat the game under 15 hours in your playtime. I was kind of curious whether I would get to it in time, but obviously with the excess amount of time I need between episodes and stuff, uh, and also trying to show off so much, didn't quite make it. That's okay. I can do that my time. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode. Next time on Kingdom Hearts, we're going to explore the end of the world. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.